Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now, <laughs> once again, I'm going to let Blaha go ahead and say a few things to get this video started, and then I'm going to chime in with my two cents. Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I guess it's about time for me to finally do this video. It's a video I've been probably needing to make for months. Uh, I just haven't got around to doing it. It involves none other than Alan Roberts. And yes, I said his name again. Seems upsetting when I do that. Alan Roberts. <laughs> Alan Roberts. Alan Roberts. Now, <laughs> as those of you who don't know, some of you don't know due to the fact that, um, yeah, Alan Roberts has been ducking me for a very 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 long time now i've already pretty much put on blast with this guy's mo is he's gonna go after any fitness youtuber who has some buzz around his name v shreds kenny ko blaha himself you know he calls him the fake merc he pretty much just goes after the guys who has a buzz now what got me on this guy's heels you know what i'm saying was you know a live stream he posted a while back and I was in there, you know, I was actually in there just to watch and see what's up. And a few trolls happened to see me comment. And when the trolls went in, instead of being a, 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 a neutral guy and telling the trolls to back off, for some reason, he immediately went at me. And that led me to believe that he's already, you know, he already knows about my channel. So what happens is when you're a person like me who has some some uh that charisma that thing that makes others insecure when they find out about you you know they tend to feel some type of way so i already knew that this guy knew about me so he wasn't going to tell those guys hey leave that damien mcleod guy alone because then that that's going to bring some uh some attention to me because now i'll still be posting comments and people are going to say well who's this damien mcleod guy no what he did was he went ahead and started trolling called me a few names and shit like that and you know what i've what i'm led to believe is that you know this guy alan roberts is an internet troll bottom line and you know this video right here with jason blaha proves and i'm not going to play the rest of blaha's video if you haven't already seen it do it but i've watched this i'm going to chime in this guy pretty much got trolled by some dude who made a fake account just like blaha now that same fake a fake um blaha guy not this not the real blaha but some noob out there made a fake account. He does the same thing to me. He'll show up, he'll pretend he's blah, he'll say a few things. And then I'm already knowing it's him. But you know, like I said, he, he likes a bunch of blah videos. When you click on the name, you'll see a bunch of liked blah videos only. And you'll think that it's blah, but it's not. So I've seen this guy around myself. So this guy, you know, I'm pretty sure Alan Roberts knew it wasn't the real blah when the guy showed up on Roberts' channel talking shit, trying to get a rise. But Alan Roberts, you know, he went with it, pretended that he didn't know, went back and forth, had a conversation with this guy so that, you know, he can now bring up a dialogue, make a video and then put it out there. And if anyone says, well, hey, that wasn't even blah, well, shit, the damage is done. The video is there. The title's there. The, the views are coming in. But then he went one step further to create this fake conversation and all these threats. And then I, you know, like watch Blaha's video here. I'm not going to play it. That's this guy's video. I just want to chime in about it. I listened to everything that guy Alan Roberts said. And you can clearly tell that this guy was doing what he does best. Creating a scenario out of nothing. He made all of this stuff up. Which leads me to believe like. Is he you know. Is his elevator reached the top? You know what I'm saying? Because clearly we know he's just milking for views. Just like everyone, just like I am right now, making a video on a subject like this. We're all milking for views. But, you know, like I said, it all leads back to that one thing. <laughs> Fake fitness TRT gurus and the things they're willing to do. Because let alone, you know, that alone couldn't be enough. Obviously, he knew that. You know, being an overweight guy, just like his buddy Steve Shaw, the other troll, the guy who trolls me. So when I say stuff about him... It's pretty much me in reverse for what he said about me. You know what I'm saying? Go back and look at the videos. Both of these guys came to troll the young master himself. And uh, like I said, they won't dare make a video about me. Because they know once, you know, go ahead and say my name in the video, Damien McLeod. This, that, and the third. What's going to happen? All those people that you've managed to wrangle into your channel are now going to be funneling over to my channel. So I've yet to see Alan Roberts make a video about me. 
Yet again, he made one about V Shreds the other day. And even one of his YouTube trolls came in um, to my live stream while I'm playing PUBG, destroying these noobs left and right, right and left. And he had to come in, oh, you just want publicity. You want these guys to mention you. So if they mention you, your channel is going to get big and this, that. I'm like, isn't that part of the game, fool? How do you think Alan Roberts got his channel big? He was actually defending Roberts because, you know, like I said, he know the kid knows what's up. The moment one of these guys mentioned my name, well, hey, <laughs> the shit hits the fan. And they can't compete against a guy like me. Now, if I was like low level, even though my channel's not big, I'm not low level. You know what I'm saying? You can't run them games on me. Your subscriber count doesn't make the man. The man is the man. The subscriber, those, those, those things just come. So me, the man himself, I'm undefeated. I can't be beat by these guys. So of course they're not gonna make a video. Even if my channel, when my channel, me if, <laughs> when my channel actually starts to blow up, they're still gonna ignore me because they can't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? They only go after guys that they can get something out of. If the guy has subs, they're gonna go at him. He can go at Blaha, V Shreds, Kenny KO, make these videos because they know they're gonna get some blowback from that. They're not gonna get blowback from me because I only have like 1400 fucking subs. So they're gonna ignore that. Plus the fact that, like I said, even if I do, when I do blow up, they're not gonna get anything from me. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because I'm gonna destroy them. They're not gonna get subs off of me because I'm gonna outdo them. I'm, it's just, look, man, come on. A fake TRT guru. Like I said, these him and Steve Shaw, Alan Roberts and Steve Shaw, these guys have both been, uh, you know, they spent most of their lives overweight. You know what I'm saying? And then they go to the doctor. Doctor says, hey, you need to get on the diet. Your health's in, in danger. And by the way, your testosterone's low. Here, take this. You know, this is all allegedly, you know, I don't know how the conversation exactly went, but, you know, it went a little something like that. That's the only way these guys are getting on TRT, unless they're doing some illegal stuff. Because uh, I, I know damn well, those before and after pictures with Steve Shaw, where he's, you know, you know, he's, 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 uh, looked like he had a few too many burgers. And then now he's sitting in there, his shoulders are capped, and he lost a lot of weight, and he has all this muscle on his arms. That's not natural, not at that age. When you've abused your body for them in that, that many years, the guy's on the wrong side of 40, right? And then all of a sudden you have all this muscle. Where did this muscle come from? What, what the fuck? You couldn't do it in your 20s? You know what I'm saying? Come on, people. It's common sense. And when you got a guy who, you know, spent most of his life doing one thing, you can't all of a sudden... That's like me, you know, making a tree house and spending my whole life in a tree. Then I come out trying to teach people about, you know, uh, how to be a good fisherman. How to bobsled. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I go to a basketball game and I'm over telling NBA players, giving them tips on how to play the game. I spent my whole life in a tree. I know nothing of these things. These guys know nothing of this fitness thing. They regurgitated a few things they see. The other guys are saying. But living it and actually implementing it, you can't do it. A bird can't teach a fucking fish how to swim. It's just not his world. So what makes these TRT gurus figure they can put on a little bit of, you know, old man TRT muscle and come into the fitness industry and coach people on how to do shit versus me. Like I said, they know my MO. I've been doing this since I was a kid. Still in shape, still a beast, still have a natural physique, lifting weights close to those guys who are on all these alter alternative fuel sources. Never quite reaching that pinnacle at the top because why? I'm not taking shit. And I'd rather be, you know, 30, 40 pounds weaker on certain lifts than these other guys then be right up there with them and then right under the ground six feet with them when those alternative fuel sources degrade your body but that's all i want to say about this video you know if you want to know more about this whole crazy situation between blaha and alan roberts go ahead and check out his video i just pretty much want to come out and say you know my experience with alan roberts is, is pretty it's pretty uh vague you know what i'm saying it's bold but vague because of the fact that he's never going to make a video about me I understand the power that I have. The power of fear. So with all that said, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym. Do work. 
and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? But the phony niggas in the world say my name, watch bitches come. Now five 